You are listening to Proof Text, a Glossa House podcast by Dr. T. Michael W. Halcom, Dr. Frederick J. Long, Dr. Mario Melendez, Dr. Jennifer Noonan, and J. M. Smith. Welcome and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Proof Text. I'm Michael Halcom, and in this episode, we are doing a Hebrew reading. Now, we just started this uh, mini series or sub series, and we're working through Jonah verse by verse. So, what I'm going to do is put Jonah up on the screen here in a minute. So if you're watching, this will be a little easier than if you're just listening. But if you are just listening, it'll still work. So uh, we're at Jonah 1-2 in this episode. And we're going to see that appear on the screen here in just a moment. Jonah 1-2. We'll look at the verse, and then uh, we will go word by word through the verse. All right, here we go. Kumnaka al Nineveh, Ayer Hagadola, Vayikra. That's really fast up here on the screen. Ukra Aleha. We'll go to the next bit. Ki Aleta Ratam Lifne. All right, so here's our first. We're just going to go word by word through this now. Our first word is Kum. Kum. All right, Kum. Kum. Our next word is lek, lek, um, lek, lek. Then we got al, al. Now you you can use the aleph to do al. You can use the segel to do l. You can try to find a happy medium al. That's kind of what I like to do. Try to find a happy medium. Al, al, al. Here we got ni, ne, nu, ne, ne, va, ne, ne, va. Um, obviously, ne, ne, va. Ni, ne, va, ni, ne, va. Excuse me, ni, ne, va. Ni, ne, va. Ni, ne, ve. Rather. Man, I messed up, butchered that one. Ni, ne, ve. Ni, ne, ve. And that vowel there, uh, vav, as some people call it, I say vowel. Not vowel, but vowel. Um, is uh, pronounced like a V here, so we get a ve. So uh, you get the hirik yod. We get uh, ni, ne, ve. Ni, ne, ve. Ni, ne, ve. So I was pronouncing that wrong there at the beginning. Nineve. 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 And here we get ha ir. This is an interesting one. You got the ha here at the start. And then you got the um the hirek yod again. And it's under a vowel here. Uh and some people will say this vowel is uh silent i really treat it actually like a a glottal stop like a, uh, uh. so when i say this i'll say something like ha, ha uh, ear ha uh, ear and hawaiian does this kind of with an okina uh but so i say this instead of ha ear that's one way you can say it i tend to say ha uh, ear ha uh, ear you get that little uh, uh in there that little stutter that little pause ha uh, uh, ear others will do it differently though and we got a lengthy word here, but we got the hagedola, haged, hagedola. We got that kamete at the end, la, lamed kamete, hagedola, 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 hagedola. The great or the big hagedola. Here we get again the uh, uh. or if you just want to treat it like a empty placeholder, you can do that. I don't necessarily see the point of that, but um so I would do something like uh le ah aleha 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 key. 
key key with that heroic yod. Then we get uh this sounds like what we heard a couple words back, except this time we get aleta, aleta. Now that shiva there is often gonna sound like just a really short aleta, aleta, aleta. And we get we got three comments here. Ra a tam ra a tam ra a tam. You control the R if you want, you don't have to. Ra a tam ra a tam. And here we get the le pene lifne 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 lifne. So that shouldn't be just lifne, but lifne. So we keep going here. We're getting some of the whole verse. So this is the first portion. Chumlek a Nineva Ha'er Ha'er Agadola Ukra Aleha. The next part. Ki Aleta Ra'atam Lifane. There you go. And that is Jonah 1 2. There it's cycling again. Jonah 1 2 in Hebrew. Uh, you get some practice. I'll continue practicing myself. Uh, my Hebrew is a little bit rusty compared to my Greek, but it's not too bad. Um, yeah, so make sure that you're keeping up with your Hebrew, that you're studying and uh, reading up. This stuff's important. And uh, build your reading skills for Hebrew. Uh, don't worry about messing up on words. You have to to mess up to learn a language. You have to mess up to get proficient in reading or speaking a language. You have to get you have to mess up tons of times to get proficient to uh to a place when you're working with a language uh, that it begins to feel somewhat comfortable. Learning a language requires making mistakes and making errors. So don't get be hard on yourself when uh, you misspeak or mispronounce or misread or anything like that, just roll with it. Let it be a learning opportunity, just like I'm letting it be a learning and teaching opportunity here. All right, so that's our Hebrew reading for the week, Jonah 1-2. I hope that helps. Interested in growing your ancient language skills but not sure where to start? Glow's House can help. From illustrated readers and short stories to lexicons and grammars, Glossa House offers a variety of resources for beginning, intermediate, and experienced ancient language learners. Head to glossahouse.com today. Glossa House, language resources for the global community.